A horrific crash that shut down a busy road in Sterling Heights. Police say David Kezzi of Troy was pronounced dead at a local hospital. 7 Action News reporter Tara Edwards has details on the crash from Sterling Heights. This Ford Mustang sliced in half and had to be carried away on two wreckers. That's how forceful of an impact it had when slammed into a telephone pole around 2.30 this morning. Inside the car were two 19-year-old men. Sadly, the driver died instantly. The passenger was pronounced dead at the hospital. According to Troy police, officers spotted the Mustang in the area of Long Lake Road in John R. They say they attempted to pull the car over for reckless driving. But the driver did not stop. Instead, according to officers, he sped off and police followed. The car was traveling on 19 Mile near DeQuinder when it crashed into a pole in Sterling Heights. We're told the two men inside had just left a party when police say it happened, and they think alcohol may have been a factor. Family members and friends stopped by the scene all day. They were too sad to talk on camera. This stretch of 19 Mile was shut down most of the day as utility employees worked to fix the pole and restore power to the area after the accident. And many businesses and some residents were without electricity most of the day. In Sterling Heights, Tara Edwards, 7 Action News. Uh, Suburban Ford of Sterling Heights sells more new and used cars than any other dealer in Michigan. Hi, I'm Jim Elder, sales manager, Suburban Ford. Whether online, on the phone, or in person, we'll make sure we don't waste your time and get you a deal no other dealer can match. 